Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Heroes Chronicles spin-off series for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. In Chapter 4, Tarnum must discover what had caused all of the good dragons to flee Avli, and then confront the Dragon Queen of Nyon. Tarnum leads the combined forces of Avli and Arathia in a final strike against Mutari's power. Defeat her, forever destroying her control over the dragons. Tarnum must defeat all towns without dying. Obviously we're going 20 sharpshooters, let's do this. Tarnum's lightning assault pushed Mutari all the way back to Nyon, leaving the Elf King to mop up the forces trapped in Avli and Arathia. Now that her own land was threatened, the Dragon Queen was at her deadliest, and this time her hatred was focused directly at Tarnum. Mutari made a mistake splitting her forces between Avli and Arathia. She tried to conquer too much, too fast. Now, with the help of the fairy dragons, I've been able to push her all the way back to the sea. I'm certain that the Elf King and the King of Arathi are cleaning up the Nyon armies I left behind in my lightning attack. But now the Dragon Queen has focused all of her forces against me. Not only do I have to cross the sea to get her, but a giant fortified sandbar as well. There is much to be done. Interesting army, okay. So we'll leave these in there for Tarnum with his town portal. Can't really get out with that guy anyway. We'll definitely be using Valita. Not only is she a uh, story character, but she's super strong as well. Hypnotize. There's a random spell. Wow, she is so weak compared to us. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Like, she's strong, but comparatively to Tarnum, not even close. Oof, this is such a deadly army to start with as well. I mean, this many um, sharpshooters this early on is... kind of nuts. Ooh, kind of wanted gold there, to be honest. Okay. Ooh, three angels coming right up. Nice, 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 nice. And so the game uh, say... <laughs> the fact that we're getting so many angels so early on is kind of ridiculous, actually. Take out the one griffin that can actually uh, target or hit our uh, sharpshooter. Oh, bang and the dirt was gone. <laughs> Oh, the damage is real. Nice. Three angels. Let's go. I feel like at this point we can... With that many angels, once we've figured out where the enemies are, we can pretty much just, I think, rush them down. Another Griffin Conservatory. Wow. Okay. Angels for days. Plus we've got... Five starting towns, so money is going to be great for us. <laughs> it's a good trade. Oh, a hell of an artifact! Oh my days. Okay, this is um, this is shaping up to be a pretty quick mission potentially. The fact that we can just go straight to uh, City Hall as well. Woof. Don't even need to buy the gubbins. <laughs> That's crazy. Ooh, Equestrian's Gloves. Ooh, you love to see it. This morning I received an unexpected letter from the Dragon Talker. She explained that a powerful combination artifact called the Power of the Dragon Father might help me defeat Mutari and her army. All the pieces are located in this area. Unfortunately, some of them are rumoured to be in the Mutari's land. If I can build it, the Power of the Dragon Father would be a great equaliser. Ah, uh, that feels overkill. I don't... F wow! 20 to 49 Archangels. That's ridiculous. Okay, it looks like we can just walk around them. That is a ridiculous fight for literally uh, Dragon Tooth Sword. That is literally such a bad trade, that artifact for that many Archangels. <laughs> I feel like the Archangels are kind of meant to stop you from walking by, but it's kind of not the case. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't think we need to lose much of anything here in this fight. A couple of centaurs, that's completely acceptable. Ooh! <laughs> Fair. Yeah, easy, bruv. <laughs> oh, the resistance of dwarves. There we go. Finally got a lightning bolt off. <laughs> Man, we're getting so much money already. It's kind of nuts. More money. Head towards the capital. Oh, how did I lose nothing there? Without spells. Jesus. Sharpshooters are busted. <laughs> oh my days, I can't believe that. The combination of sharpshooters and attack and defense being completely ridiculous and overpowered. We are building a castle army, by the way, rather than a rampart army. Since we've got three castles and two ramparts, it just makes sense to go for the, uh, the Arathian army. Thought they didn't join us, but there we go. Cool, the fact we got a capital already, man. This is uh, this is nuts. This is uh, skyrocketing our economy. Okay, there's red. Good to know. Wow, one. How do how do I even lose one centaur? Like that doesn't even make sense. Like, <laughs> it's so stupid. Like, surely even one champion would kill, like, at least three or four of them. The fact that we lost one? Jesus. They've only got, like, six health and champions hit like a truck. Well. <laughs> 900 damage. Oh my Christ, do I even... Well, I suppose we can get the fairy dragons, why not? Ooh, nasty little bugger. Luckily we got resurrect and uh, good magic resist. That could have been a hell of a lot worse. It was also impressive that all that did was kill 19. <laughs> okay, so we need gems. To be honest, I don't really need the fairy dragons. They're hella expensive and... I don't know, that they're, they're not that good. Like, they're good, but they're not that good. Like, once you get a fair few of them, I suppose it's worth, but, like, one on their own is just kind of, like, meh, to be honest. I just, I think we're just going to plough through this, this mission, if I'm being honest. I think the enemy's just not going to stand a chance against our ridiculously overpowered hero. The fact that we've got Town Portal as well, just... <laughs> I mean, I just don't see this going well for them in any way, shape or form. I mean, we've got sharpshooters for literally days. Might as well grab the artifact. Don't mind if I diddly do. An extra five spell power. You love to see it. Not that we need it though. <laughs> All right, let's grab the uh, sharpshooters. Grab the griffs. Turn the uh, marksmen and elves into sharpshooters. Boom, bish, bash, bosh. Man, we are gonna absolutely crush.
It's always just very much just scouting. I think I think I get a rough idea of where the uh, where the enemies are now because they said they cross the sea, and then the sandbar. So this is the sandbar that Sorsha's on. It's been almost a week since I last thought of Valita. I think I am getting better at forgetting the things that make me happy. Yet I've been hearing reports of her efforts to protect Avli from the raiding dragons of Nyon. I smile when I think about it. So many dragons have been killed that they must fear the mention of her name. And despite myself, I wish I was there by her side. Cute. Duty over happiness with Tarnum, for sure. Ah, bowstring. And angel feathers up north as well. So it looks like we can build the bow of the sharpshooter. Again, not that we really need it, but looks like all the components are there. <laughs> when, a, when a cheeky eight, eight mana lightning bolt can... Uh, Clear that, no problem. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Probably a good thing they didn't join me, just to... That <laughs> would really be like... GG. More so than it already is. <laughs> okay, quest guard, interesting. Might as well build up our uh, creature generators. Just, I don't think we're going to need it really, but just in case, you never know. She might have a ridiculous army of like Azure Dragons or something. Alright, so Bathier is where we want to go next. Grab the gold. So we're going to be skipping the creature generators from the rampart bases just because I've got limited resources. Another letter from the dragon talker reads, Dragon friend, I have taught the seers who possess the pieces of the power of the dragon father. Seek them out. Most will ask for some sort of compensation. The good news is they've agreed to see only you, or someone who flies your banner. At least Mutari won't be able to get the power of the Dragonfather for herself. Good luck. To be honest, she kind of needs it in order to compete with me. Two fairy dragons. I am an agent of the Emperor of a distant land. Recently his armies have fallen on hard times. If you could bring two fairy dragons to me, I could pay you handsomely. Okay, so that's one piece, but I don't... I don't need the thing of the Dragon Father, it just seems like an unnecessary quest. So I think I'm going to skip. Skip! Okay, more uh, Sharpies for my army. <laughs> oh man, this army's getting out of hand already. The fact that we can already build a portal of glory is kind of crazy. <laughs> oh man. I kind of feel bad for our enemies. <laughs> so ordinarily you'd have to pick up a uh, shipyard, but we've got town portal, so you don't even need to worry about that. We can literally just TP to Bathia and save ourselves a hell of a lot of time. Nothing in Canaan. Grab the sharpshooters. What a terrifying army if you're the opponent. Oh, we've got so much money already, it's kind of nuts. 
Wow, they just got McGogs. Okay, good luck. Oh, I see. So we would need to get a shipyard. For right, okay, hence the dragons. So these are kind of like the soft locks that basically allow the enemy to build up their forces and artifacts. However, because we got Town Portal, it's just a massive skip. Five angels, holy sh! <laughs> it's because we got the two, um, the three portals. Oh my Christ! It's <laughs> no, it's the two portals. Woof! This is so ridiculous. <laughs> we are gonna absolutely crush these guys. Does that kill zero? <laughs> what? Oh, without spells that kills zero. So I'm just gonna use you for eating just to scout. Why not? Sure. Yeah, we're we're just gonna plow through this mission, I think. No more messing about, no more playing games. Okay, well that's a fair army, but it doesn't hold a candle to my uh 10 angel army. <laughs> 10 angels in week 3. I mean, it's just... I mean, I'm not even, like, min-maxing that either. It's just kind of like... 2 griffin conservatories. And one... 2 weeks worth of production. <laughs> so dumb. So dumb. Still, you love to see it. When Elven Scout entered camp today, shivering with fever beneath his torn cloak, he had been gone for weeks searching for a passage to Mutari's land. She is a bright one, the Dragon Queen, the Elf said, pausing to sneeze a few times. The sandbar is a barrier to ships and there is no land route to her region. Is there no way to get to her? I said. He nodded. I took a fisherman's boat out looking for a way around the sandbar and accidentally got sucked into a whirlpool. I thought I was dead, but I came out the other side soaked to the bone but within sight of Mutari's shores. A whirlpool? Dangerous, but if it's the only way, at least now we know how the Dragon Queen got across. We thank you for your courage. You're relieved of duty until you rid yourself of that nasty cough. Now go find a healer before you give it to me. <laughs> wow, weak source. And there's the base. Nice, we can grab that and then TP back to Balfier if needed. I assume the enemy's probably going to come across the border. And then we'll deal with the other uh, base. Eh. I've got so many sharpshooters, I don't think really, really matters. And since this is the final map, I'm uh, kind of over min-maxing for the most part. Oh, he's got so much body, it's actually absurd. I actually like the mission, I like the layout, I like the fact that we start with this many bases, but it's also way too easy. <laughs> like, I understand that Chronicles is an easier introduction to the series, but it is... I found this series entirely just far too easy. Unfortunately. Wow, I think not. Hell no. You don't get to fight me and walk away without any casualties. <laughs> I think that might be the better option, just to haste everything. I think we can probably kill everything with what we've got. Possibly. Almost. Almost everything.
Downside being uh, gr uh, green dragons being immune to uh, haste. <laughs> and I don't quite have enough monks yet, even with that ridiculous attack and defense. I'm more just scouting, to be honest, just to see what's about. You never know what you might stumble across. Cheeky Armageddon's Blade or something. <laughs> just for funsies. Oh, this mission is going to be over so quickly. I'm calling it now. Like, unless they have, like, I don't know, a pocket 10 Azure Dragons, I just don't see how they ever, ever stop this army that I've built. An elf was carried into camp today on a stretcher. He was weak from his injuries, but insisted on talking to me. I noticed immediately that most of his body was badly burned. How could he stand so much pain? I knelt by the brave elf and said, You should be resting, brave soldier. Quickly, what is it you want? My commander was Captain Velita, he began. My heart froze, refusing to beat again until the injured elf spoke. She's been captured. How? I asked. It was the only word I could force through my constricted throat. We heard of a dwarf leading some red dragons. They were attacking the Elf King's supplies. Velita immediately went after them like a woman possessed. A dwarf? She must have thought she had a chance to catch Kerbin. I was the only one who knew how much his betrayal had hurt her. She would have gone after Kerbin hoping to capture him, hoping to find out why. It was a trap, the burned elf said. Packs of red dragons came at us. We fought off the first wave. We killed all of the second wave too, but at the cost of the last of our dragons. The third wave took us. And what about Velita? I asked desperately. I saw her fall from her horse as she fought one of the beasts. She drew her sword, sunk it in the creature's eye a moment before it struck her with its tail. I do not think it killed her, but she did not climb to her feet again. All this talking quickly tired out the elf. I ordered the stretcher bearer to take the poor young soldier away. Give him anything he wants, I ordered, because I knew the elf would soon die. No one can survive such wounds for long. Ooh, shit, hit the fan. Okay. So I might need to slow this game down just so I can see that story play out. Please help the poor children of the area. If you could bring 10,000 gold, we could pay to have homes built for them. I would be at your service. Ah, with all of the 10,000 gold, we can build good homes for them. Would you accept this in return for your donation? Yeah. yeah. I can't think. During my strategy sessions, I hear reports of enemy troop movements and suspected numbers, but I don't care. Vitari can have the world if she wants. I just want to be with Felita. Ooh. <laughs> Shit. I think that's going to end in disaster. Guess it took losing Velita for Tarnum to come to his senses. So I am looking for a shipyard. I do need a shipyard in order to cross that sea. They said a whirlpool, so that's probably what we need to keep an eye out for. Okay, there's also a two-way. That's probably from Utari. Just need another scout to see what's going on. Okay, so Utari can pretty much attack me wherever she wants. That's annoying. But we do have town portals, so I'm not too fussed about that. So maybe the whirlpool's on our side rather than their side. That's very possible. I might need someone to scout the water. As it happens, I can't see where it is right now. But let's grab Felita on the seas. And see if we can find out where this whirlpool is. Because it's clearly the only way we can get to the enemy. That's the red key mass attempt. Uh, hedge my bets and say it's up north. Up tip north. You know, I said I wasn't going to min max, but I've got nothing else better to do with right now until I find the whirlpool. Ah, there it is. Cool, 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 cool. 
Oh, okay. They're going to send a ship to me. That's ideal. Saves me faffing around. I can also just teleport straight to uh, where Valita offloaded that ship. Ooh, grab some Archangels. Why not? Easy fight. So I need 20 gems. Okay, well, I've got money for days. Might as well. Boom. <laughs> Good luck stopping this army, Mutari. Even better the fact that I don't even have to worry about the whirlpool and lose an army. I can just... Wow, that's Mutari as well with that army. Okay, we're going to absolutely smash this. Let's just grab some Archangels. Uh, more gems are needed. Standard. Woof. <laughs> Oh my god. This is going to be like the big fight, so we might as well uh, make sure that we're properly prepared. Why can't I get... Oh, right, I see the doors are in the way. 10 to 19 devils, though. Okay. I should probably retreat. I mean, that's a weird grouping, but okay. Oh! <laughs> Right back at ya. Oh, Malado. I think she's gonna retreat anyway, so. Might as well kill what we can. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, wow, they didn't retreat or surrender. Okay, this should be, uh, should be all she wrote. Damn. Okay, I might have made a mistake there. I think she's going to retreat. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have gone for the devil. Never mind. I mean, it's probably for the best. I do want some challenge. A message was delivered in the middle of the night by a single harpy. The horrid creature assaulted one of our patrols long enough to drop a rolled piece of parchment. Then she fled. A scratched and bruised soldier brought me the note. I glanced at the bottom of the letter to see who it was from, and nearly crushed it when I saw Kerbin's name. I regained control and read, Charnum, I have Valita. That was it, so I crumpled up the letter and threw it in the nearest campfire. I'm going to crush that dwarf's throat with my bare hands. I said so fiercely that several of my own men took a few steps back. I don't blame them. For a moment they caught a glimpse of the barbarian king who tried to murder an entire society. Thankfully, by the time I returned to my tent, I was able to suppress that evil part of my personality. I sat in the dark, unable to sleep, staring at my quivering hands. Ooh, Dark Tarnum's back. Potentially. Darkum. <laughs> Darkum Nights. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot of decent artifacts. Bow the sharpshooter, boots of speed, we love to see it. Uh, let's just switch some of these out. There we go. Not that we need that, to be fair. I uh, don't really need mana, so let's just push on. I kind of wish in some way that there was like a um, almost event mechanic that when Valita gets captured, she actually gets captured and you lose the army that's on her. I appreciate that would be very annoying. <laughs> um, but I feel like it would be more apt with the story that's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, we can take that. We can do better than that. Faux show. Sure. 18 devils. Man, they are really banging out the devils. Jesus, that almost killed all of them. I don't know what's more broken. I really don't. Spell power and knowledge or attack and defense. I mean, they're, 
they're both completely busted in their own right once you get like once you hit 20s to 30s it's like they're both kind of busted the fact that they're just not even killing like one gold dragon for like 10 which attack twice yeah it's kind of kind of crazy <laughs> ouch <laughs> friendly fire doing more damage than the entire enemy army lol <laughs> oh. i mean the fact that they just lost 15 of those is kind of it's just silly and there's just like no challenge at all at the moment Kerbin waited a week to send another letter, allowing me to torment myself with thoughts about Valita in Mutari's hands. Again, the message came in late at night in the hands of a harpy. I chose to read it in private this time. Charnam, Valita is alive, or feeding her well, and nearly all of her injuries have healed. Let's meet. We have things to discuss. On the other side of this letter is a map. Of course, you must come alone, or Valita will suffer. Kerbin, it would only take a couple of days to get to the location indicated on the map. I buried my face in my hands, uncertain what to do. Well... I don't really need the extra attack and defense, like I say, it's just... We're already ploughing through this mission. <laughs> Hell of a rate of knots. For those who have attained attack skill 25, there are great rewards. When you are finished, return to me and I will see what can be done. Lovely jovely, take that, thank you very much. All right, so let's go Cinder Spire. Might as well. It's literally on the way of where I need to go anyway. In the darkest hours of the night, when most of the camp was asleep, I slipped from my tent and into the forest. It didn't take me long to get to the place indicated on Kerbin's map. I found a huge moss-covered boulder shaped like a headless man, and I found Kerbin perched on top of it dressed in black armour. A battle axe was propped over one shoulder. Please tell me you summoned here for a duel, Kerbin, I said. My own hands were hidden beneath my thick cloak. Nothing of a short, Kerbin said. I wanted to discuss Felicia. What are we going to do about her? If you're smart, you'd release her unharmed. Oh? Because if you don't, I'm not only going to kill you, Kerbin. I'm going to take my time doing it. It once took me three weeks to kill a wizard. What was left when I was done no longer resembled a man. Tonight, I wasn't Tarnum Dragon Friend. Tonight, I was Tarnum the Barbarian Tyrant, and I wanted Kerbin to know it. Nice threat, Tarnum. You really are working for the wrong side, Kerbin said, forcing a laugh. Why, Kerbin? What did Mutari give you to make you betray your own people? My life, Kerbin said. You know that pompous elf Ashburn was right about something. You spend long enough in the hands of the enemy, and soon their side makes sense. You too would do anything to stop that kind of pain. I heard movement in the trees around me, but pretended not to notice it. Instead, I brought one hand out and held it above my head. Speaking of Aspen, I have something for you, I said, and threw the small white statue up to Kerbin. Wash this. The bishop, the advisor. You took Aspen, but I promised that would be the only piece you ever take. Kerbin chuckled, placing the piece in his belt. I'm sorry, Tarnum. But before this night is done, I plan to take the king as well, he said, lowering his axe. The shadows came alive as dozens of minotaurs charged from the forest. I would have been a fool not to realise this was a trap. I sprinted towards the boulder, raising a wooden whistle to my lips. I blew as hard as I could, even as I dove into a recess between the rock and the ground. It provided me just enough cover. The minotaurs stopped in the middle of the clearing as they heard a hissing sound cutting the night air. They looked up. Something blocked out the stars in the sky, and then hundreds of arrows rained down upon them. My archers had fired from extreme range. We'd spent the last two days practicing this maneuver, so it worked. No one survived that first attack, except Kerbin, thanks to his thick armor. He was immediately swept into the air in the arms of a black dragon. I watched him flee into the night. Ooh, that was a really, really well-written piece of dialogue. <clears throat> It's surprising how much of the lore is actually tied up in those messages. And it's also kind of interesting that a lot of these messages are things that I would have once upon a time just skipped over. Just because there's like so much text. It's kind of like daunting to read it. 
Okay, this might actually be the final fight of this mission. And to be honest, I don't think it's going to be much of a fight, unfortunately. Certainly no retreat for her. Unlike Stronghold, there's no uh, escape tunnel. So she is one hundo dead. Unless somehow she can pull off a miracle. Unless she has Armageddon's Blade. But even then, gold dragons are immune, so I can just res for days. I'm actually um, surprised they survived that attack. Yeah, right back at ya. Thing is, that many Archangels, like... Yeah, it's just, just... There's, there's no way. It's not possible. Okay, it's not over yet. Which is probably good, because I kind of want to see how that kind of dialogue story ends. Man. 40 take out 11. <laughs> Without spells, lol. I mean, congrats, you killed one. Oh, by the way. <laughs> There's a thing called Resurrect. <laughs> uh, that's funny. So there is an underground, so I wonder how many bases are below. Wow, 24 Gs a turn. That's absolutely insane. <laughs> Income. Is this actually going to take me to a base? I assume it must. There might just be another base on the surface, but we might as well see where this takes me. Oh, okay, so there is another base down here. Good to know. So we can take this base and then TP to one of the others. Oh. Well, I don't know why I'm surprised when we actually just batter an enemy army and lose nothing, but... Alright, so this is the closest one to that Cinder Spear. Spire, even. Let's grab a few more uh, <laughs> troops, because why not? Insane. <laughs> Insane army. Christ, 90 sharpshooters. <laughs> oh my days. I and mean, that's just kind of funny. <laughs> just how big that army is. I am a little bit low on mana, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. So their other base has to be up north. I have been a coward. The battlefield, I have learned, is not the only place where one must have courage. First with Edrian, and recently with Velita, I have folded beneath the weight of my fears. I never should have denied my feelings for Velita. Yes, one day I may have to leave her forever, or if I'm lucky she will grow old and die in my arms. No matter. I realise now that I will never know happiness if I fear the loss of it. I don't want to live that way. I only hope I'm not too late. Ancestors, please protect Velita. Well, he's learning. Can't fault him for that. But has he learnt too late? <laughs> Man, I know I'm just about to end this mission, but I also really want to kind of see how that story ends. I don't think we're going to get the opportunity. I think this is the last fight. Congratulations, all your enemies have been defeated, and victory is yours. GG. After her defeat... Mutari fled to Nyon to lick her wounds and plot Tarnum's death, but she soon met her fate at the hands of another. 
Tarnum would always remember the years he spent in Avli as the happiest time of his life. But it wasn't long before the ancestors called him away. Okay, so I realize now that I'm probably going to have to do a law video separately because there's a lot of text that I have missed by completing these missions almost too quickly. So I think I'm going to do that as a separate video on my uh, my Don Hayes channel. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. In the meantime, that will right about do it for Clash of the Dragons and Chapter 4 for Heroes Chronicles. Next up in the Heroes Chronicles saga will be Chapter 5, The World Tree. So I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you for everyone who's been tuning in and keeping up with the series. It does mean a hell of a lot to me. Um, so if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.